The devil is in the detail. Mating Maine Coon cats to me is like trying to build and assemble the perfect puzzle. I don't just grab two random Maine Coons and put them together and just to produce kittens, nor do I mate Maine Coons for color. So I'm not trying to produce any particular color. Instead, what I'm trying to produce is a Maine Coon cat that meets the breed standard, which fits the description, the written description for the Maine Coon cat. And if you want to read the full description, you can go to my website and it's right on the homepage. It'll give you the full description of the Maine Coon and all of the little details that are really define like the perfect Maine Coon cat. So as time goes on and I am more into my journey as a Maine Coon breeder, I'm learning what works and what doesn't and you know what happens when I mate particular cats together and what the results are and how temperaments get passed down and certain characteristics and, and everything. It's just a whole nother world that goes on behind the scenes when you're a breeder. Uh, the perfect Maine Coon kitten to me is one that has a good balance of health, temperament, and type. And type is actually their physical characteristics or what they look like. So how I pair these cats up plays an important role in the result that I get. Here's an example. This was one of my males in my breeding program. His name is Governor. And if you notice his ears, but his ears are smaller height and height than um, I would like to see them. So I have to choose a female for him that has tall ears so that the end result is a kitten with nice ears. The litter that I have right now, the brand new litter, this is their mom, this is Cleo. And if you notice her ears, they are nice and tall. They're at 11 o'clock and one o'clock. They're, they're just great. Her ear tufts go outside the edges of her ear, which is another detail that is part of the description. So when I put Governor with her, the kittens have nice ears. Let me show you one. This is Sex Metal Barbie. This is a kitten that was produced between Governor and Cleo. And you can see her ears are a little bit taller than Governor and they're a nice size and a nice positioning on her head. I'm also a Maine Coon profile police. Like I have OCD about it. I probably could say that I breed for the profile more than anything else. A correct profile really does give the Maine Coon the look that they should have. And it's really one of the main reasons I love Governor so much because of his profile. So what is really awesome is this gentle concave curve between his forehead and his nose. He also does not have any humps or bumps on his nose. That is very common that I see a lot of um, Maine Coons have is a, a hump or a bump on their nose and I, I, can't, I can't stand that. It's just that should not be used. And also it should be a straight line from the tip of his nose down to the bottom of his chin, which he has. That gives him a nice boxy muzzle and a nice complete profile. And where his chin curves in right here, there's no recession. So I don't see any of the cut off chins or the very thin chins, like some Maine Coons will have very thin chins or not a deep chin at all. So the breed standard um, is written that it should be two thirds um, of the top and one third at the bottom, which he has a great proportion of. And so I just love his profile and he does pass that down to literally almost all of his kittens. That's kind of, you know, my process for selecting who gets mated with who. Um, some girls will only ever get to mate with Governor and some girls will never get to mate with Governor. So we'll just have to see, see what happens in the future.